The Genoese history is shaped by the wealthy maritime and commercial tradition of Genoa, one of the most important Mediterranean cities, found in northwest Italy. Over the course of the Middle Ages and the early modern period, Genoa rose to be one of the main maritime republics, along with Venice, Pisa, and Amalfi. Skilled navigators, merchants, and bankers, the Genoese set up an extensive network of colonies, trading posts, and sea routes throughout the Mediterranean. Alongside its maritime legacy, Genoa is also the birthplace of Christopher Columbus, the famed explorer who played a crucial role in the Age of Discovery. Genoa developed into an important trading port already in antiquity. The city's origins can be traced back to the Ligures, a pre-Roman people who originally inhabited the region. The exact roots of the Ligures are still a mystery. They are often regarded as one of Europe's pre-Indo-European peoples, which means that they were already around before the arrival of the Indo-European peoples. We know relatively little about the Ligures' culture and society, mostly owing to the lack of written records from them. Most sources of information are external, mainly Roman. They were often portrayed as warriors and shepherds, living in mountain villages. As the Roman Empire expanded, Genoa started to grow in importance. As a port on the Ligurian Sea, Genoa was strategically positioned along the trade routes, allowing it to become a trading hub between inland Italy and other Mediterranean maritime territories. Under Roman rule, Genoa underwent a series of urban developments, it built infrastructures such as aqueducts, theaters, public baths, and temples. Reflecting Roman architecture and layout, the city was connected to the Roman road network, particularly the Via Aurelia. This important communication route ran between Rome and the northwestern coastal regions, passing through Genoa, and provided an easy way for people, goods, and troops to move around. Like many cities in the Roman Empire, Genoa was affected by the decline of the Western Roman Empire. The barbarian invasions and other socio-economic struggles affected the city, but it continued to be an important regional center and trading port. Medieval times saw the exponential growth of Genoa as a commercial and maritime power. Throughout this era, Genoa and Venice emerged as Italy's main maritime republics, competing for trade supremacy in the Mediterranean. Genoa had a key role to play in the Crusades, supplying ships, sailors, and logistical support for the Christian armies. In return, the city earned valuable trading privileges and conquered Levantine territories. By 1187, the prominent Muslim leader Saladin, who had unified Egypt and Syria, also took over the Palestinian coast and the port of Acre, located in what is now Israel. Acre was taken back by the Christians in the Third Crusade, and the Franks divided the city, granting commercial concessions to Venice, Pisa, and Genoa merchants in exchange for their naval power. The Genoese established colonies, trading posts, and bases in several Mediterranean locations, including Crimea, North Africa, Spain, and the Levant. These not only ensured access to profitable trade routes, but also strengthened Genoa's political and military influence. As two of the most powerful maritime republics, Genoa and Venice often clashed due to competition over trade routes and territories. This feud resulted in several wars over the centuries, the most notorious being the Venetian-Genoese Wars. Such conflicts often resulted in one city temporarily surpassing the other, only for the rivalry to be rekindled a few years later. During the Middle Ages, Genoa was a leading financial center. Institutions such as the Bank of St. George, set up in 1407, had a crucial role in financing maritime expeditions, trading enterprises, and managing the city's public debt. Towards the end of the Middle Ages and the start of the modern era, the Genoese had a significant involvement in the great discoveries. Christopher Columbus, the explorer who discovered America in 1492, was Genoese. Genoa's capacity to produce navigators, maps, and navigation methods was crucial to the expeditions of the Age of Discovery and colonization. Genoa's power started to decline over time. By the early modern period, powers such as Spain, Portugal, and subsequently the Netherlands and England started to surpass Genoa in naval power and global trade. Genoa experienced deep changes in many areas, 
from the economic and political to the cultural and artistic during the Renaissance, a period that lasted roughly from the 14th to the 17th century. While the city was not as prominent a Renaissance center as Florence or Rome, Genoa was the site of important developments during this period. It established itself as one of the main financial powerhouses in Europe during the Renaissance. Wealthy Genoese families, such as the Doria and the Grimaldi, founded banks and conducted business throughout Europe, competing with other banking families, such as the Medici of Florence. During the Renaissance, Genoa developed a particularly close relationship with Spain. Many Genoese bankers loaned large sums of money to the Spanish monarchy. As a result of this rapport, Genoa enjoyed a period of relative stability and prosperity. Unlike many other European states, Genoa did not have a nobility in the conventional meaning of a hereditary monarchy. Rather, Genoa was ruled as a republic for much of its history, with a complex political structure that often benefited the city's leading merchant and aristocratic families. Over its history, Genoa was both influenced and often controlled by powerful aristocratic families. These competed for power and influence, and at times effectively controlled the city's governance. While Genoa was a republic, the city and its territories were, on several occasions, influenced or controlled by external powers, including France and Spain. During these periods, Genoa's autonomy was limited, even though the city often kept a veneer of republican government. Genoa and the entire Ligurian region underwent significant political and territorial upheavals during the Napoleonic era, reflecting Napoleon Bonaparte's expansionist pursuits and the constant power shifts taking place in Europe. After the French invasion in 1797, the Republic of Genoa was dissolved, giving way to the Ligurian Republic, basically a French satellite state. Under French influence, Genoa and Liguria were subject to sweeping administrative reforms that echoed the French system. Legal, fiscal, and administrative changes were introduced, as in other European areas dominated by Napoleon. In 1805, Napoleon directly annexed Liguria to the French Empire. Now Genoa was no longer the capital of an independent republic or duchy, but the administrative heart of a French department, the Department of Montenon. The Napoleonic period affected Genoa's trading. The continental blockade enforced by Napoleon under the British negatively impacted the city's maritime trade, since Genoa, like much of Europe under Napoleonic control, was banned from trading with Great Britain. After Napoleon's fall in 1814, the Congress of Vienna, redrawing the map of Europe, decided that Genoa and Liguria would be annexed to the Kingdom of Sardinia. This ruling was controversial and not welcomed by many Genoese, but it signaled the beginning of a new era for the city and the region. Despite its shrinking influence on the global stage, Genoa continued to be an important city in Italy. During and following the Second World War, Genoa, like the rest of Italy, bore the crippling effects of the conflict and went through a period of reconstruction and transformation. Being one of Italy's largest ports and an important industrial center, Genoa was a strategic target during the war. The city was bombed several times by the Allies. Genoa was faced with a huge reconstruction task after the Second World War. The port and many of the city's infrastructures were either damaged or destroyed. Nevertheless, reconstruction was quickly carried out and Genoa regained its role as one of Italy's main ports and industrial centers. Genoa decided to invest in urban renewal projects to revive the city. For instance, the old port of Genoa was turned into a leisure and cultural site. The city started to tap more into its tourist and cultural assets. In 2004, Genoa was named European Capital of Culture. This brought new attention to Genoa's diverse history and heritage, drawing visitors from all over the world. The Genoese boast a prolific history, charting the rise and fall of one of Europe's greatest seafaring powers. With their resourcefulness, determination and maritime skills, they shaped the Mediterranean's history and played a key role in the Age of Discovery. Genoa's heritage today is testimony to the lasting influence of this port city.